Now, we've asked Austin attorney Adam Lowy for some legal perspective on today's sentencing. First, Adam, I think a lot of folks were, were rather surprised by the recommendation of no time behind bars. Were you? Uh, well, based on the verdict yesterday, I wasn't that surprised. But make no mistake about this. This is a devastating defeat for the Travis County District Attorney's Office. They went for broke here. They wanted her to serve 20 years in prison. And Ms. Nastande woke up yesterday with that distinct possibility. Today, this evening, she is walking out of that cor courtroom basically a free woman. So I think that it's consistent with the verdict that the jury did hand down probation, but it nonetheless is fairly shocking. Uh, Adam, the judge asked everybody to come back on March the 25th for the formal sentencing and all that. Is there, she, could she change her mind? Could she say, no, I think that uh, uh, Nastani de does deserve to serve some time and, and not go with the jury's recommendation? Ron, the judge can impose some jail time as a condition of the probation. I believe it's upwards of 180 days. However, I do not believe Judge Sage will do this. I believe that Judge Sage is a strong proponent of the jury system. The jury has spoken here, and I believe that the court and everyone involved with this case wants this to be over now. Adam, some people have said if this, court, if this case was tried in another county that perhaps it would have had a different result. They think that uh, some of the comments we, we've heard are that Travis County is not tough enough on criminals. We just heard from the police chief saying something similar. Is that, has that been your experience? I don't believe so. I will tell you that I believe in the jury system. I believe that juries are very intelligent. I saw this jury. They were doing the best they can do of listening to this evidence. And a lot of people outside who follow this case can say this should have happened or that should have happened. But when you have 12 people come to a unanimous verdict, that means a lot. And I understand why people are upset, but I also believe that the jury's verdict should be respected. Thank you so much, Adam Lowy, for your legal perspective today on the Nestande case.